SOLIDWORKS 2021 has a huge set of new features and performance enhancements. Let's take a closer look at some of them right now. SOLIDWORKS 2021 enhances your interactive performance in 2D drawings. Drawings are a different way to express your 3D model and there's a lot of graphic information there. So whether you're opening your drawings up with the recently introduced detailing mode or if you're draw opening up your drawing in fully resolved mode, either way, you're gonna notice that interacting with your drawings is gonna be much faster because we now apply the new graphics pipeline introduced for 3D model rotation interaction, and now we're applying that to our 2D drawing. So not only are our 3D model rotations really fast, but you're gonna notice that when you open up drawings in SOLIDWORKS 2021, they are much faster and snappier than they were in 2020. So same hardware, same drawing, and we'll show kind of how the difference works. So you can see that in 2020, it's not terrible. It's a complicated drawing. There's a lot of stuff on the drawing there. But when you go to 2021 now, with that new graphics pipeline turned on, it's night and day. I mean, it's just like stuck to my cursor. It moves really fast. Same with um, other interactions like zooming in. So zooming in is nice and smooth. It sticks to my cursor. Panning is really smooth and responsive. Uh, works just like butter, really. Uh, if you go back to 2020, you know, I can zoom in and, you know, it's a little laggy. Sometimes it kind of overshoots a little bit. It's a little chunky when you when you uh, scroll around. Zoomed in, it's not as bad, but it's still not as smooth as 2021. And even if you're using the scroll bar, you kind of see this kind of heaviness to them. Again, this is what we've been used to for a long time, so we kind of, you know, it worked. But in 2021, it's just so much, so much better. And then the more complicated your drawings are, the more of a difference you'll notice. So again, taking this... These, these uh, multiple views of the, of the whole assembly and all that graphic information. Again, we can handle it in 2020, but in 2021, it's just like gum stuck to your shoe. It just moves along with you. It's really nice and responsive and fast. So great enhancements to performance in 2021. Now, speaking of performance, we did introduce last year a new way to open up even the largest drawings lightning quick by using our detailing mode introduced in 2020. And this enables you to open up your drawings of any size really quick because we don't even open the, the model behind the drawing at all. So we can make not only really quick opens and we can go to different tabs and quickly print things out, but we can also make modifications in detailing mode when we introduced it last year. And now we have a number of enhancements to allow even more functionality when people are working in this new detailing mode. We can add annotations last year, but now we can actually edit annotations that were created in fully resolved mode as well as detail mode. It basically doesn't matter in 2021 now how the annotation or when it was created. Also, you can see here we have this front view broken in three places, but the top view isn't. No longer do we have to resolve the model in order to make these different kind of views. I can do a break view directly on the graphics. No problem there whatsoever. So you notice it works just like normal. We just place our break lines and the view is broken in the places that we designate. And you can see we have the same kind of controls we normally would for break line style and for cut orientation and gap and that kind of stuff. Now, if I wanna modify an ordinate dimension that's already been placed in fully resolved mode in the drawing, I can do that now again in detail mode too. So again, I don't have to have created an annotation in detail mode in order to modify it in detail mode later on. It could have been created in 2019 or 18 before detail mode even existed. And let's go ahead and now make a detail view Again, just on the fly without having to resolve the model. And you can see here that when we put in our whole callouts, those are now available in detail mode as well. That was the most asked for enhancement from the detail mode um, debut last year is when can we do whole callouts in detail mode. And we'll go ahead and put in some dimensions and they foreshorten as you would expect. Again, just to drive the point home, here's a dimension that was placed in the drawing was fully resolved and now we have full access to all the information in the property manager of that dimension while we're in detail mode. So if I wanna change um, the, the, the uh, decimal place, if I wanna add um, 
some kind of tolerance. I can do all that. I can even look at this four and a quarter dimension and look at its leader position and change the arc conditions again. So everything is available to be changed uh, about a dimension when you're running in detail mode, even if the dimension was placed before detail mode even existed. So we have all that flexibility, some great enhancements to the relatively new detail mode. Now, no matter how you're working with your drawing, either detail mode or uh, fully resolved, you're going to like this little enhancement here. It has to do with placing that second point in your dimension. So now you'll notice that dimension that's stuck to your cursor as you place the second uh, point or pick the second edge, it, that dimension is now a little bit uh, transparent so you can easily pick the point vertex um, or edge you need. We also have a new style of balloon. So there's an inspection balloon for VDA. This is used in the German automotive market and it's used in a lot of the uh, EU um, uh, disciplines. So you just notice it's just a type of a leader for a, a balloon. So you just change it to a VDA leader and it gives you a place to position and orient it. And of course it's gonna be picked up by SOLIDWORKS inspection like any other inspection balloon. And finally here when you're doing little symbols and glyphs or sketch work on a drawing, you'll notice that now we have the geometric relations on the heads up user display here. So we don't have to go over to the left hand property manager to add these relations in here. We can just add them on the heads up user, um, user tools just like we would in a 3D sketch mode. So that makes drawing these little kind of glyphs a little bit faster and easier and more consistent in SOLIDWORKS Drawings 2021. So that's just some of what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021. To find out more, go to www.gsc-3d.com today.